What is going on everybody? Welcome here today to another NBA 2K19 My League Rebuild. And today we are doing a Boston Celtics one. So my goal for today is obviously to win a championship, but I want to get an all 90 starting five by the end of this video. I think this team is good enough to do it. And I would like to get at least, you know what, I'd be content with four 90s, but I want to get five 90s. It's going to be hard, but I think we could do it. So that is my goal for today's video. I do apologize for not uploading yesterday. Really busy day, uh, just tests got in the way, and I just didn't have time to make a video. So I do apologize for that. I should have a building a better team out tomorrow um with massa so i think we're doing the thunder but don't quote me on that and yeah that should be out tomorrow first one this year and then ultimate rebuilding series should be starting soon um and then i think i'm buying a router so i can actually play my team online because my upload speed with like the best wi-fi i'm gonna get is two megabytes and my download will be nine on my ps4 so i gotta buy like a whole new router don't know how it's gonna work out i'm gonna have to get like ask one of my friends who's like good with that stuff and figure out how to do this in my apartment i don't even know if it's like legal to do but i, I don't know i gotta have to do it um and you know it's their fault for just having crappy internet um that reminds me i gotta pay my rent tomorrow oh yeah woo on my birthday well, actually no my birthday is october 1st and it's the rent's the first day of every month so it's a good birthday gift right uh, um so yeah we're doing the celtics today like i said i would like to get a all 90 um starting five so if i do look at the player contracts if i could find the uh, salary cap table so Horford will obviously opt in. Um, Kyrie's gonna opt out. Uh, Horford, I'm probably gonna trade in the off season once he opts in, because he's not gonna hit a 90. Um, he's 32. He's not gonna even get any better. He he could hit an 87, but no way he gets any higher than that. Uh, Kyrie, I'm gonna try to sign him mid season. If not, I'm resetting him in the off season. Gordon Hayward uh, could be a, a guy that could hit a 90 overall if he scares me, and we might need to move some cap. I could definitely move him for like a guy that could hit a 90. Uh, Marcus Smart, making a lot of money. He could be a trade candidate. I don't know. But obviously Tatum, who's already at 87, he'll be at 90. And Jalen Brown as well. But we'll see how that goes. And I'll see you guys at the end of season season number one. And we'll see if 2K actually likes the Celtics in the sim this year. All right, so we're finishing up season number one. And yeah, 2K does still hate the Celtics. Look at our record. I mean, we can all know that the Celtics are going to be the one or two seed in the Eastern Conference if they're going to be up there with the Raptors. Um... I think they'll be the one seed, but I would not be shocked at all. if the, I think the Raptors will be very close behind, and I wouldn't be shocked if the Raptors won the one seed. But anyway, are we even going to make the playoffs? Like, 42 wins, we're going to be like a seven seed. But what I remembered that's going to help us get these 50, um, 90 overalls is that we have so many draft picks. We have the Kings draft pick this year. Probably the Clippers next year because they're going to be a lottery team this year. And if it's not top five this year, we get the Grizzlies first round pick. So it's going to be looking very nice throughout this Kyrie I did um at the contract extension deadline look to re-sign him he wanted a test free agency um also Al Horford said he wanted a test free agency but I think that was for next year when his contract's like fully up uh but yeah that did uh worry me a tad bit but I think we're good so 42 wins got us the four seed oh my god the east is trash but we're taking on Detroit in round one um Washington didn't make the playoffs okay um how bad did the Western Conference teams do that we have their picks? So Clippers, obviously really bad. It's a lot of protecting picks, so they're going to get it. The Kings made the playoffs? What the f Are you kidding me? Of course, when I do this video, they just hate the Celtics completely. And the Kings always have, like, the number one pick, and of course they make the playoffs. And the Grizzlies, um, they shouldn't get a top five pick unless they get really lucky. So season number one. Um, Kyrie led the team in points, then Hayward, Tatum, Brown, Horford. Horford had double-digit rebounds as well, and five and a half assists, which is really good. He actually led our team, uh, which is probably not the best look on Kyrie, but oh well. He's going to be my point guard throughout this video. Uh, so I'm just going to simulate the playoffs. If we were down 2-0, oh my god. I feel like I'm, like, 2K just hates the Celtics so much. I don't know why. I mean, I hate the Celtics a lot, but, like, I'm, I'm realistic here. Like, the Celtics should be in the Eastern Conference Finals no matter what, and they should not be on this side of the bracket. They should be either the two seed or the one seed. Well, they could be on this side of the bracket if they were the one seed, and we get swept by Toronto, Jesus. All right, so let's just go to the draft lottery, and I can't believe the Kings oh, made the playoffs. So if we're lucky, we'll have the ninth pick, and uh, we're not gonna get the Clippers pick. So Clippers ended up being six. We do get pick nine, and then via Kings, it goes to Sacramento, uh, Philly, huh? Wait, now I'm confused. Now, do we get it next year? Okay, well, I don't even know how... Oh, that means we get the Sixers pick then. I think we get... Okay, we get the better of the two. And the Kings somehow had a better pick than the Sixers. So we end up with 17. I guess it's better than 22, but... Jesus, are we serious right now? Um, 
So if I were looking to move some players, Marcus Smart, um, it's he's a good player, and 13 mil a year isn't bad for him. But I do want to kind of get the cap relief off my off the books here. Uh, if that could really get me another top 10 pick, which I think it could, I'm going to use it for that. So say we did Marcus Smart, um, and then we did the 17th and 22nd, definitely could give me pick 8, uh, or 7. So 5 via Orlando, how far off? Okay. Okay, guys, so I did take Charles Bassey just because he was a big man at pick 5, and then at pick 9, I did take Cameron Reddish. I did go, actually, Bassey over, um... Over RJ Barrett, which was, I guess, some people might be like, why? But I don't know. I, I've gotten RJ Barrett a lot recently, so I'm excited to see what Reddish and Bassey could do. But they're not even safe. They might get traded. So, like I said, I'm probably Jabari Bird. Didn't he beat up his girlfriend? Well, no matter what, I don't even know why he's still... Is he still on the Celtics roster in real life? I don't know. I feel like they would have released him already. But if he is, that's kind of a bad look on them, to be honest. Um, for being honest. So, I do want to move Al Horford. Uh, you can see he's still an 86, but... I do want to move him um, for somebody that could actually hit a 90 overall. Like Rudy Gobert, I mean, he's what, 27? Um, it is possible for him to hit a 90. Uh, I am looking for a center. Holy Tipo, that's uh, that's nice. Um, but, okay, so like Draymond McCollum. How old's McCollum? 27. All right, I think I'm going to do the Rudy Gobert trade. Um, what centers right now are, are, are 89s or above? I do want to check that out. So if I went to player finder, let's go to centers, um, and then let's just do minimum overall at 80. We'll do 88, and then we'll see what we could uh, go from there. So there is six centers above an 88. Um, Jokic might be pretty hard to trade for. Um, actually, it might not be as hard as I thought. What about if I, I would have gave up Rozier? Marcus Morris, Al Horford, and I don't want to give up the Clippers pick. I'll give up a first. And then I could throw in, I don't know, Aaron Baines. Um, it, do you like Robert Williams more? Uh, if not, then we're probably just going to go back to Dugo Bear. All right. Um, Drummond, actually, I, I actually like Drummond more then because he's only 25. Okay. Um, yeah. Ooh, this is, a, this is an interesting trade um, because then I can move Al Horford for, like, Victor Oladipo. And it's like, would you rather have Victor Oladipo and Andre Drummond, or would you rather have Andre Drummond and Cameron Reddish? I'm going to actually do this trade, and we get a first-round pick. We're going to add a exception uh, to this. Um, and now I'm going to move Al Horford for a potential guy. Um, if Actually, I could get, like, I saw Brandon Ingram, but I don't want to get Brandon Ingram. Uh, Fultz, he's making 9 mil, which is a lot cheaper. Colin Sexton is cool. Um, John Collins. Rudy Gobert, obviously. Um, I could pick up Gary Harris, Bull Bull. There is going to be... Oh, uh, I didn't get offered Oladipo this time around. All right, well, because I didn't give up the first round picks. All right, so you know what? That's a blessing in disguise. I'm going to pick up... All right, it's either Fultz or Sexton. I'm actually going to pick up Sexton. I don't want Tristan Thompson, but okay. Um, I have to take him on. So I'm just going to uh, flip Tristan Thompson for like uh, chump change. And then I will see you guys in free agency. All right, so the Clippers are giving me their 2021 first round pick for Tristan Thompson. So let's go to free agency. Um, Terry Rozier can get my qualifying offer. He's the only person I'm going to give it to. Now, ooh, do not want to simulate there. Um, we got one priority and one priority only, and that's Kyrie Irving. Both New York teams, at least that's realistic, are offering him deals. So we are going to give him the most we can do. That's actually a lot of money. Um, let's do 180. Uh, so this is way over 30 mil a year, um, and we'll do a player option. And I don't plan on trading you, Kyrie, so yeah, there you go. And we should be your number one. Do we have any other free agents? Uh, Rozier, I'm just going to have to match. He got a deal from the Magic. So we are going to match that. We are going to renounce the rights on everybody else. And, yeah, we should be good. And I will see you guys. Um, see, why does Terry Rozier only match a one? When you, okay, maybe that is realistic. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. Say, no, I don't think so. I don't think this is right, though. Um, when, say, like, hypothetically, who's a restricted free agent uh, this offseason? We'll just say Terry Rozier, right? Say the Orlando Magic give him a three-year, $36 million deal in this upcoming free agency. Now, the Celtics match it. Does that mean it takes that annual salary, which is three-year, $36 million, so that's $12 million a year, and put a one-year match deal on it? Or does it go, like, three years, $40 mil? That's matching it. Uh, let me know in the comments, because I would like it a lot more if it was a one-year match, because then... It's kind of it's more entertaining for us because then the player would hit free agency a lot quicker, and it's kind of like the franchise tag in the NFL. Like if they're gonna like the match matching like a restricted free agent is kind of it's not exactly the um, 
the franchise tag, but it's like they have to come back. They have no other choice. It'd be a lot cooler if it was on a one-year deal um, and said, like, they get matched on a four-year deal and they don't want to spend their time there. So, uh, yeah, let me know that in the comments. I hope I explained that well. So, um, let's see how many guys we have a chance on hitting 90. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I do want to move Marcus Morris. Um, I think we are good with, like, that position. So, I'm going to try to move Marcus Morris for, like, a first-round pick, and then I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so on tap potential, I'm definitely going to send Jalen Brown because he, um, I feel like he's going to need that. Am I not going to be able to send? What the hell? Like, can I not do an untapped potential? I don't know. I think it's just my internet, to be honest with you. I think it's that bad that I can't even go to untapped potential. Like, yeah, okay. I can't even do it. Screw it. Um, we'll just advance to the next season. So, we have a really good team. Even Charles Bassey might be in the G League this year. Um, actually, does he have a no trade clause? Please tell me he doesn't. Okay, there we go. Uh, he's a free agent at the end of the year. Terry Rozier. So, I'm actually going to move him. Um, and then we have a backup point guard anyway in Colin Sexton. So, actually, before I trade him, I should probably look at what positions we need. But, no matter what, it's taking forever. Um, so, what positions do we, like, need? Um... I guess I could trade him for a shooting guard or a power forward. We'll trade him for a power... We'll say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I could trade him for whatever I want. Um, uh, so let's move Terry Rozier for whatever the hell I want. We have the Clippers pick this year, no matter what, where it's at. So that could be a lottery pick. And yeah, like, like I said, my goal was for everybody to be a 90 overall. Gordon Hayward might scare me a little bit. Say his peak is at 89 and then he starts regressing because he is almost 30. That would suck. Um, so, ooh, Julius Randle. Give me some Julius Rant. Mm, I would acquire 2.6, a trade exception. Okay, how many trade exceptions do I get? I feel like I'm using all of these. Um, but yeah, let's pick up Julius Randle. I like that. Um, so let's check out the team. It's going to be not this. We'll have to put Hayward there, and then we'll put Tatum there. So they're 89s. Uh, so we have a 94. Kyrie's going to get 34 minutes a night. 32, 32, 31, um, 31 there. We're going to give Randall 23, Sexton 20, Bassey 17, and then Robert Williams four, uh, 13. Um, all right, uh, we're going to go 31, 32 here, and that is going to be for me now. I will see you guys at the end of the season. We're the number one seed. 2K better like us in the sim this year. All right, guys, so Kawhi Leonard wins MVP. RJ Barrett, Rookie of the Year. Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player of the Year. Deion Waiters, Most Improved. And Coach of the Year, Nick Nurse. Uh, but we actually did pretty good this year. We went 56 and 26, and we might have a slight problem going into this offseason is that uh, I'm scared we're going to go over like our hard cap and or the luxury tax or whatever it is. I don't know, though. We'll get to that point where I maybe... Are you kidding me? All right, guys. So, like I was saying, I was scared to go over our luxury tax. Like, I'll get more into it in the offseason. But Gordon Hayward is a 90, but he's 30 years old. Um, and Andre Drummond is most likely going to opt out. So, honestly, it's probably going to be Joyce Randall I'm going to have to move. Because I'm trying to give Jalen Brown a max deal. And then trading him for an already established 90 overall shooting guard. Um, cause then that, if say I could trade him for a shooting guard and say maybe that Clippers pick will actually, no, uh, I would be giving him a contract after that, but maybe a pick or something or a young player, we would have Tatum, that guy, so that's two, hopefully Drummond, that's three and then four and five, but that's if I could still keep Gordon Hayward, but we'll get into that into the offseason. We're trying to win a title right now. So player stats, um, Kyrie Irving led the team in points, then Hayward, Tatum, Brown, obviously there's not enough to go around. So not every guy's going to average 18 points a game. Team stats, though, um, points per game, it looks like we were number two, and a lot of points per game, we were number three with uh, number two point differential. All right, so let's check out um, who we're taking on in round one. I didn't check that out yet. It's going to be the seven-seeded Heat. Um, okay, uh, we definitely should beat them. Please tell me the Clippers didn't make the playoffs. Thank Why are the Kings good? Why? Like, they signed Cousins, but they didn't have Cousins in year one. Apparently, the Kings are just, like, the best team in this video. All right, Clippers were really bad, so we should have a top five pick from them. Sweet. And, yeah, let's get into these playoffs. Round one against Miami. We shouldn't lose this. Like, we really shouldn't at all, but eh, it's 2K this year. So, 2-0, 3-1. Uh, and also, preseason started the other night, so it's kind of we got the basketball vibes back. We're still, I think this season starts, like, the 18th of October, 17th of October. So, it's around the corner. Um, and we're going to simulate this round against the Hawks. I do have a future Hawks pick and a future Pistons pick, but obviously the Hawks pick is... Not going to be as nice as the Pistons pick uh, based off what they did this year. Game 7, and we win. And we're taking on Toronto, who swept us last year. Game 1, they beat us by 14. Kawhi drops 33. Okay. Game 2, 
Okay, are we just gonna have a repeat of last year? We lost by four. Damn. Game five. Um, we lost. Jeez, or that was game three. Why did I say game five? Oh, Jesus. Uh, game four, we do win. Game five, can we make it three to two? Damn. We, the past two years against the Raptors in playoffs, they are 8-1 and one against us. Alright guys, so Kawhi uh, Leonard and they end up, uh, wins the finals MVP and they beat the Warriors in 5. So, I'm really hoping this is going to be like the number one pick in the draft. It is projected, oh my god, I saw us twice. We have Cleveland's pick? Is that when I got Colin Sexton? Okay, I have no idea if there is a protection on it. There probably is, but if there isn't, oh my god. No way, we have picked 2 and 6. What? Okay, I don't remember. I think that was in the Colin Sexton trade. And then I trade Terry... No, I forgot who I did that trade with. Um, it was Marcus Morris. Oh, my God. It was just their... It was Marcus Morris for their 2021st. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Well, that's dope. Um, so, we have the second, sixth pick. Say I package these two. Could I get a 90 with that? We can get Kemba. Okay, yeah. What about if I did those two and Joyce Randall? Or I did pick two and Joyce Randall. Um, Russell... I don't know if he'll hit it. Um, Oladipo might be the guy. And then just hope he goes up one overall. I mean, this is no challenge, but it might be something we got to do. Okay, so I'm going to do... I don't want to give up both our picks. So what happens if I did pick six and then Randall? Could I get in like that uh, Old Depot still? No. So it's got to be pick two, it looks like. All right, that's it's fine. Um, it's not the end of the world. I don't really want to throw in both, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Am I right? Um, all right. Devin Booker could give me the second pick here. Now, Devin Booker will definitely go up. Like, you know, I'm going to pick up Devin Booker. I mean, our defensive backcourt with Booker and Kyrie would be pretty bad, but we're just going to have to score more than everybody else. I don't want Tyler Zeller. So, I have the sixth pick. I will see you guys at rookie signings. All right, guys. So, with the sixth pick, I took Kevin Porter Jr., a shooting guard from USC, Southern Cal. Uh, rookie signings. We are going to sign these two um, team player options. Okay. Drummond is opting out. I'm not going to bring back Gershon or whatever you pronounce his name. I'm hoping I have enough money in my hard cap to get him. Um, if not, we're going to have a problem because also Brown's a free agent too. Because I just took on a huge contract to Devin Booker. Uh, this is going to get very interesting. So Drummond, I do want to pay a lot of money too. I think we should be good, but we're going to be pushing it. And it all depends on how much Brown gets. Um, so you can take a player option, no trade clause. Um, and you're going to get, okay, you're our number one. Did Jalen Brown get a deal yet? He probably did. Um, he has not actually, so... We're going to decline Jameel Wilson. Um, We're going to renounce the rights on everybody else. So I'm not going to sign Jalen Brown yet um, until I have to, which is right now. Please tell me I can afford them both. Please. It's going to be right here if I can't. Okay, no, we're good. Uh, Al Horford is here. Um, But, yeah, we should be good. So right now we have one, two, three, and then hopefully these guys will hit 90 at the end of the year, and they'll be four, five. And then we'll have six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay. We have a really good team. I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. All right, guys. So this is going to be the starting five. Um, I am going to throw Booker in there, who some reason Brown is higher. Okay. Maybe Brown will be starting over Devin Booker. Uh, Robert Williams, get out of here. We're going to put in um, him. Robert Williams is probably not even going to... Actually, no. I might need a backup big man. Actually, no. It's Bassey. Yeah, so I'm actually going to play Porter over Robert Williams. So um, hold on. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this, and then we're going to put Porter there. So, Porter, you're only going to get 10 minutes, and we'll give you 11. Uh, Bassey, you're going to get 16. Sexton, you're going to get 19. 25 to Booker. Let's go 31, 32, 33, uh, 32, okay, 34. And then we can go 33, and then I'm going to give 27, uh, 20, 18, and we should be good. Um... Let's see, do I want to give... We'll give one more to Sexton. All right, so that's going to be the rotation. I will see you guys at the end of the year. I want, like, I mean, that wasn't a challenge to get 590s, uh, but I hope we can, and I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season. All right, so Giannis wins MVP. Uh, Brad Stevens gets coach of the year. We get a nice amount of wins. I, I do that joke too much. 69 and 13. Uh, finally, 2K kind of respects us. I'm guessing we're the one seed unless the Raptors won 70 games. I don't expect to have any Celtics here because of, obviously, just how many good players we have. But RJ Barrett... Um, on the same team as LeBron and Luka Doncic. Very interesting. Um, I don't think we're going to get any rookies unless Porter somehow made it. Uh, he actually did. On our rookie second team, we actually could have gotten a defensive guy, but we didn't actually. I don't even know who would have gotten our defense. Uh, but yay, we ended up with six 90s. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is what I'm freaking talking about. Um, yeah, so I, I, that was my goal. 
back 20 minutes ago when I said it. Uh, we were taking on the eight-seeded New York Knicks in round one. Uh, we have Eric Bledsoe now. Uh, still have Ennis Canner. They have Zion. Um, player, I don't want to go to playoff stats. Player stats, that's what I want. Um, so Kyrie led the team in scoring, followed by Hayward. Booker as our sixth man. Tatum, Brown, Drummond. So we had six double-digit scores, followed by Sexton, Bassey, Porter Jr., Rebounds a game. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, there was just a car outside that their horn was going off for a while. But um, uh, Kyrie led our team in assists with 6.7. Um, rebounds, Drummond had 14 and a half, which is very good. Steals, we had four guys or five five guys over one steal a game and two guys over a block a game. Uh, so team stats, we should be number one or top five in every category. Number two in scoring, number one in allowed scoring, and number one in point differential. That's what I call elite and we shouldn't have a problem going to the finals this year. I really don't see it, but it's 2K. I, I could, I should expect the worst. So we're up 2-1 right now on the next 3-1, and we win in five. Okay, now take it on Philly, which is going to be a rivalry for the next couple of years in real life. Uh, obviously, they both have great young cores. Jalen Brown, um, Jason Tatum, versus like Ben Simmons and uh, Joel Embiid. And then you have like Kyrie Irving and then Marco Fultz. But uh, obviously, the Celtics are still in head because they have Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward. Um, but... They're still very good, um, the Sixers. It's going to be a very nice rivalry really to see. So, the Hawks. Did they sign anybody? They signed Klay Thompson. They usually sign someone big. Um, game three against the Hawks, they win. Game four, ooh, they win. Damn it. Oh, okay, let's not go down three to two. We're going to go to a game seven, aren't we? No, we win in six. Let's go. Uh, we are eight, 12 and three, 12 and four, going up against the Warriors who don't have Clay. Do they have, and they don't have Cousins. So, it's Curry, Katie, and Draymond. They beat us by three in game one. Damn. Game two. Okay, we went. Thank God. We won by seven. Um, game three. Please win. There we go. Game four. Let's go, baby. We're up three to one. Are we going to be in Boston for this? Yes, we will. We have a chance to win at the TD Garden, and we're getting blown out, so it's probably not going to happen right now. Uh, so we're going back to the Oracle. Curry just dropped 51 if you just saw that. Um, I know I went over it pretty quickly, but... Let's not lose this, okay? It's close. All right, yeah, we're up by 20 now. I will see you guys in the game. Um, but yeah, we're going to win the finals in year number three. All right, so we're in the game. Uh, Kyrie's got 22 and 8. Um, Jalen Brown is currently in at power forward. Uh, Drummond, give me a pick here. There we go. Oh, Kyrie's too quick. Kyrie's too quick. Oh, my God. Why is that free throw animation so slow? I don't know. Uh, but he knocks that one down and makes the free throw. Let's go. And one. Uh, Jalen Brown's got 15. Tatum's got 22. Hayward's got 26, and Drummond's got, okay, uh, that's my fault, almost get a block, um, so we're up by 23 with two minutes, not bad, not bad, all right, Jalen Brown, let's see what you can do, you got a three-pointer, I don't know who's guarding you, ooh, um, oh, what the hell was that, what defense was that, okay, he just gave me a wide-open jumper, it would have been an easy layup, but I pulled up, because I thought he would have been in front of me, uh, but Jalen Brown's got A plus perimeter D, uh, Tatum's got B+. Plus. Kyrie's at a B-, minus, so that's not bad. Curry for three. Obviously, he's going to knock that down. Uh, so, it's 126, 10, uh, 128, 106. Um, all right. Let's get a Drummond in the... Ooh, Jalen Brown open. You can't, Dude, who is guarding Jalen Brown? Because he literally sucks. Is that McCall? Is that like Jacob Evans? Who is guarding me? I don't know. Um, wait, I don't want to play defense on him because I want to see who gets the ball here. Pass it to him. Pass it to him. Pass it to him. You're not even going to pass it to him, Curry? Pass it to him. There you go. Oh, Brad Wanamaker, former Celtic. Is he throwing this game? Uh, Jalen Brown again. Kick it to Kyrie. Kyrie for three. Is that wet? Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Uh, Jeremiah with the... Or that was KD with the rebound. Uh, who's guarding KD? It's Tatum. Um, what's Hayward's perimeter D? It's a B. Former Butler Bulldog or Butler Bear? Butler Bulldog, I believe. Oh, Tatum with the good defense. Tatum wearing number 41. Dunk that. And one. Okay, he gets hard fouled. Uh, by Wanamaker. All right, guys, so finals MVP was actually Andre Drummond, but yeah, we do win in six, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, that is gonna be for me. Thank you for watching. We did get one, two, three, four, five, six nineties. Makes me happy. So I hope you guys did enjoy building a better team out tomorrow. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.